Welcome back to Investing with Obermott. Today we have two really interesting markets on the, markets on the Obermott Top 10 list. It's Portugal and Germany. Why is that interesting? Well, a lot is happening in Europe. You have heard of the refugee crisis. Some countries are opening up, like Germany, and some countries are closing down, like, uh, like the East especially. Now, what does that mean for an investor? Well, very easy. If a country closes its borders, it's bad for the economy, it's bad for its companies, it's bad for investment. If a company opens up, it's good for the economy. This means you have higher returns, you have more growth, you have lower unemployment. And that's what happening, what's happening in Germany. This is why I think Germany is a really good place to invest. And since today it's um, the SDAX that we are covering with our top 10 list, I'm really eager to see what we have in Germany. But also Portugal is interesting because Portugal is a very open country right now. You have not heard any, new, any bad news about Portugal, especially uh, since they have also welcomed a lot of international people to get residency in Portugal. Uh, people that want to get a European passport can do that by purchasing real estate in Portugal. This has created a boom and that means both countries, Germany and Portugal are interesting for investors. Let's have a look at the top 10 lists. I have here in front of me the S-Stocks. Let's have a look at the companies there. Here we have the top 10 stocks uh, in German. Well, that's what I didn't want in English. It's what we want. And if I scroll all the way down to the combined strategy, which always gives me the best overview, I see a few interesting companies. I see automakers, auto parts makers, research and consulting, farm heavy machinery, and then I see some more retail-oriented companies, apparel retail, home improvement retail, uh, then I see industrial companies again. Now, we all know it's a very uh, shaky time right now. This means business-to-business -business companies like industrial conglomerates are actually more exposed to a downturn. And since I have already quite a few industrial companies in my portfolio, I'm more interested in the retail space, Tom Taylor or Hornbach Home Improvement. Now, if I look what, what's happening in Germany with all the immigrants, I could imagine that especially home improvement is an interesting market to be, market to be in. And we have a very good value rating of 88. We see growth, we see safety, and combined, it's a very good rating of 80, of 91. And in addition, it's an extra large company. Tom Taylor um, is just a large company. And since it's also a unique brand, um, more exposed to the, um, uh, to the basically changes in the fashion industry, Hornbach looks to me more solid. Let's have a look what Hornbach is doing. I looked at the financials first of Obermatt and I can see that in 2015, in the most recent ratings that we have uh, on, on the company, um, we have really good value ranks, uh, growth ranks, safety ranks that have all improved over previous ranks. It became more attractive, especially the value metrics. They're all good except for the dividend yield. Now, if the dividend yield is low, that's actually not a bad sign because the company is reinvesting its money. It's actually good for investors. It means the co that the company has an idea about what to do with its money. If you have a company that pays out everything in dividends, it may actually be a, a sign of poor management because they don't know what to do with their assets that they uh, generate. If you look at their growth ranks, at the performance of the company, it also has improved in 2015. As a matter of fact, they had a couple of weak years and now top line growth has improved. Uh, profit not yet, which probably also means that they're investing more into the future. But stock returns have already recovered. We have also good safety ranks down here. Really a company to look at. So if I click here on their... Um, on their URL and I have a look at what Hornbach actually does. It's now all in German. Actually, I have here an English version for you so that you can see it in English as well. I looked through the site. I found that they do a lot of, um, uh, of, of hands-on products that you need to improve your home. And especially if there are a lot of refugees arriving, it's something that uh, is in need, you know, uh, 
to you know make your home beautiful with little money is the business of Hornbach and I thought this is actually quite interesting I googled it a little bit I googled Hornbach I looked for good and bad news about it and I found something really interesting Xing is something like um, uh, LinkedIn uh, it's a network of professionals Xing has a Hornbach page and it says 136 uh, employer um, valuations give it a quite a good rating um, of, of the company actually it's a little bit it's like almost four stars it's a little bit between three and four stars when I look through the the different um, comments it's actually quite good I looked a little bit deeper into that I, I looked into the, into this um, Kununu rating something like glass ceiling or uh, yeah, glass door I think glass door Look what they're saying about the company. And it sounds actually quite good. Now my alarm, my alarm is going off. I need to go soon. Um, I thought about looking at Glassdoor as well. Here you can see it in English, um, in, in German actually. Uh, let me move that to English so, so that you can see it in English. And we see here actually quite good ratings, 4.4, 100% approval of the CEO, 71% would recommend it to a friend. This is actually quite a good sign. I thought, well, let's also look at consumer reviews. And I found something, again, Googling, you know, called Shopaskunft, you know, inquiry about shops. And it looks like their online presence is not that great. Uh, this is actually something that is not as good. Um, so maybe I want to go back and have a look at Portugal. I want to look what I have there. Well, I look at the... Uh, uh, no, this is not, uh, this is not Portugal. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Portugal. Uh, let's go back to the top 10 stocks. Um, no, by index here we have the, the top 10 stocks. And then let's have a look at what they have in Portugal. Now again the combined rating gives us a couple of interesting companies. I looked through that. I didn't want to go into utilities. I already bought the one in Spain. Um, I thought this is really interesting. Paper products, forest products and I had a look at this one. This company with really good ratings called Amorim. Um, Amorim it turns out has fantastic over my ranks. I don't want to go into details, it's all green. The only thing maybe, you know, a little bit of a drawback, it's a medium-sized company. Let's have a look what it is, and this is what I found. They're actually in the business of cork, so they have lots of trees worldwide, and they're they're fostering, they're, they're, they're you know, growing their trees to, you know, get cork from them every uh, now and then. I think it takes a couple of years to do that. I go here to the English website so that you see the English. Um, and uh, when I looked at the, at the company Forbach, I found something really interesting. It's um, a family owned business, you know. It says here that, um, that for, for three generations, they have already owned this company and grown it and, and they're actually investing quite a bit. I looked at the chairman, um, the chairman's message, you know, uh, I like it. It's, it seems to be a company that is really on the grow and uh, the only drawback for me, it's actually quite a small company. It's medium sized. Should I buy it? Should I not buy it? Uh, this is the big question, you know, between Hornbach and Amorim. I already have bought Portuguese companies. My brother actually is exposed in Portugal with a hotel. So I may think that actually Germany is the better place to invest right now. I go into my um, e-banking that you have seen before. I enter the company Hornbach, which is the one we were looking at, and I click on buy. It's gonna search for it, hasn't found it. Did I misspell something? I don't think so. Let's have a look at Hornbach. No, I didn't really misspell anything let's click and paste no it's correctly spelled search there's no security let's look for the easy number easy in hornbach baumarkt aktie easy in easy number here it's up here let's try to find that 
it's really surprising that a large company like that is not in my it can't find it yes it can it can find it we found it here it's actually here we found it with the easy number um, it it is right now um, at it trades at 25 euros let's divide, divide uh, 5,000 euros is what I want to invest roughly let's divide it by um, 4,500 a little bit less 180 shares 180 shares is actually what I can buy from Hornbach Media and that's what I actually at market that's what I'm going to buy uh, basically Hornbach Baumarkt AG this is the company I want to buy um, as direct investment um, it's going to be around 5,000 francs I guessed correctly I confirm here and um, I have here basically uh, I can print the order don't really need that right now um, I can make a new order for some reason you can't exit this very strange um, but what's important for you is what I've decided to do is I've decided to go for the larger company in Germany that is in retail uh, home improvement something I think Germany will need uh, if uh, it has to you know accommodate all these new refugees I think that's a really good investment I invested another 5,000 francs my goal is to invest 5,000 francs each week until the 100,000 francs I want to invest are are used up this is the story of investing in Hornbach I hope you enjoyed it I hope you have learned how easy it is to find an interesting uh, stock without a lot of effort I wish you all the best with your own investing. Goodbye.